Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to another product review. This is going to be on the Cat's Meow toy. I'm not going to go through a big unboxing. There's not much to it. I'll just show you how to assemble it. You can find them on eBay and uh, Amazon. Lately, I prefer Amazon uh, uh, because of their shipping costs with the Prime. But there's only like four parts to this. It's not hard to put together at all. Um, you just unfold this out of the box like that. And this is the top of the toy. You just slide it over like this. It's got a little elastic band. It holds it in place there. And then it's got like a locking retainer ring on there. And you'll see that there's three slots on here. So what you do is you'll see there's three little extensions around the device there. You line them up. Once they line up, you're going to slide it in and you're going to turn it clockwise, which would be this direction here. That locks it in there. It holds the fabric in place for the toy. Pretty simple. Now you flip over the device and what they have is they have a Phillips screw that holds in the battery panel. You can leave that off once you get it out. It's up to you. It's probably not going to come out of there. It's got a little clip that also holds it in there. So you want to take your screwdriver there and go ahead and take it out. Sometimes these devices don't come batteries included. It depends on what site you buy it off of and what price you got it for. See this one didn't come with it. Now it looks like unfortunately it's going to take C batteries. A lot of people don't keep C batteries around. I don't keep C batteries around. I have rechargeable batteries I use in a lot of my devices. I have RC stuff if you follow my channel um, that I don't use that much anymore, unfortunately. So what I have is I have these in loop adapters and you slide your double A's in there. I can uh, do a review later on if anybody wants to check them out, but that's what I use. And you just slide your battery in there. <laughs> Actually, this may even be the, uh, the review and show you how to do these. So you just put your battery in there in the adapter. That's going to take up the space for the C battery. It now becomes a C battery. Plenty of power. And you're going to slide them in there like so. And we'll work our way right across. There we go. Now see they take up that space at that C slot. No problem. Or just buy yourself some cheap C batteries from the dollar store if you don't have them. Entirely up to you. So once you get your batteries installed, go ahead and put your trap door back on. It clicks right in. And go ahead and screw your screw back in. Alright, so now once that's done, it has a little port right here off to the side. You're going to take that stick that already has the attachment and the ball on there. And it slides right in there like that. It's nice and snug. And that's it. That's how you assemble the toy. Not hard at all. It's going to go like that and it looks like a little mouse tail that's going to stick out of here and it's going to spin around with the power button right there when you press your power button off and on. So we'll go ahead and we'll set it up and we'll show it to our kitty cats and see how they like it. We've got a new addition. His name is King to the family and we'll see if he likes it. That's next. Okay, so once you lay the toy down, just press the button in and it starts it up. And you can see it going around and around. And I'll show you with the two cats on it. Okay, so here we have the uh, Cat's Meow toy. And it's working right now. We got this little guy here. This is King. And this is Leo. And Leo's trying to stop it by just laying on it. And King's chasing it around. Get it, King. You can see the little tail of the device going around. Leo stopped it. It won't break. It just kind of goes into a neutral mood until they let up on it. You know, for a little cat toy that's under $15 shipped to your door, I think it's effective. It keeps them busy and active. These two actually have only known each other for three days now. So this is a way to get them to interact a little bit. As for the construction of it, it's um, it's okay. I mean, anything that's made in China, you know, we'll see how long it holds up. But uh, it's well worth it. So I recommend it. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Share with your friends. Take care.